Welcome again, Cancer. It's September 2019. Uh, Tadichi here from astrology.com.au. Take a look here at this third house of your horoscope this month. Well, this is the third house which relates to thinking, ideas, that sort of thing. And you've got this aspect from Saturn here. I want to uh, activate this and start to uh, animate the uh, transits here. This uh, happened straight after this new moon, which was late, very late last month. But this will create a bit of deliberation. Although you've got all of these ideas, you may not be able to act on them. And that's probably a good thing as shown by the trine aspect here uh, from Saturn. So that's giving some containment to it. In any case, I think you'll be very, very busy this month because the third house has to do with journeys, uh, not just of the mind, but of the body as well. More short journeys, communications with others. And so you need to manage that because although these aspects are quite strong, we see here the square aspects to Jupiter and that's triggered around the 6th when the moon moves into that conjunction square to these planets where you may find some difficulty. Here also you'll notice that the sun is burning up Mercury and Mars. So these planets which relate to your career and also this communication sector mean that you may come under some duress with those planets. Here again on the 8th with the conjunction of Moon and Saturn again triggering this third house of communications, contracts, agreements, travels, all of these things come under the umbrella of this third house. But as this chart proceeds, you'll see that a, a lot of the shift here is going to move and we'll get into that in a minute. But um, you're not escaping this Pluto, South Node, Saturn combination in the seventh house. These are very slow moving planets. You notice Saturn and these other two are all still retrograde, although Jupiter has gone direct. So at least in some way, your work and service will start to see some results, probably because the Saturnian influence on your ideas and your contracts is causing you to be less impulsive and to slow things down and to, to deliberate before you make a commitment and sign on the dotted line. Idealism is strong around the 14th with this Moon and Neptune conjunction. That's opposite during this full Moon phase which then moves into the 10th house of Korea. So I think this is an important part of the month, the middle of the month where you've got the full moon with all your ideal, uh, ideals really being carried over into your workplace. Venus and Mercury also shift. That's what I was talking about earlier, Cancer, where deliberation, ideation shifts into actual practicality and practical action as shown by these two planets. By the way, Venus has directional strength in the fourth house. Uh, so this could have to do, for some of you anyhow, having connections with family members in the north. This is the northern part of the chart. And Mercury ruling your third house of communications. Uh, communications. Um, you could have collaboration with family members. And this is also the place of one's mother. There we see the moon moving into the trine aspect to these two planets as well around the 20th. So that's selfless service, um, compassionate works and a spiritual tinge to the activities. Lots of square aspects around the 22nd again to this third house. Notice here how there's combustion. Mars being under the beams of the sun still not letting up until after I believe it moves here into the what we call the uh, ingress of Libra around the 24th just there to shift all of that energy that was there in the third house to this fourth house of family domestics and inner self the fourth house which is not often referred to in uh, many of the uh, astrological works has to do with the way you feel about yourself the emotional side of your nature, goodness, honesty and integrity. So the convergence of all of these planets here in the right angle to these planets <coughs> and care to show that you may be dealing with those issues, especially where it comes to 
members of your family, such as your mother um, and, and other relatives, in close proximity. Later in the month here, <laughs> finance is triggered by this lunar Uranus square around the 25th and 26th. <coughs> Pardon me, I'll just have a sip of my tea. Uh, and there we see back again to that third house, the transit of the moon here, a little trigger happy too around the 28th when it makes contact with Mars. That can be rather explosive and whereas earlier in the month you were a little more contained, this conjunction could show a rather different approach to your communication, especially there in the family arena. By the way, fourth house has to do with vehicles, cars and uh, transportation according to some systems of astrology and so this brings a bit of focus on that area and as well as the ninth house and the third house which have to do with educational matters the fourth house also has to do with education and you may be stepping up your interest in some sort of topic where you want to expand your mental horizons take a look at what I've written there what we've put up for you in uh, astrology.com.au for the month we've also got that contextually framed with the year in focus we've only got a few more months left of 2019 so have a look at what's going on for you there and by all means take advantage of my offer to come and uh, sit down with me face to face based upon your time and place of birth to look at your horoscope on a deeper more esoteric level and to see where your life is going how we can uh, destiny engineer that if I uh, if I could use that term I look forward to that and I also look forward to seeing you again here next month take care now